Residents of Russian Orenburg city are furious and threaten Kremlin with rallies. The outskirts of the Russian city of Orenburg are rapidly going under the water. Residents are furious and threaten rallies already in the capital of the region, writes the Mozem Obyaznit Telegram Channel. According to the governor of the region, Denis Pasler, the water level in the Ural River is approaching a record high of 11 meters. The head of the region urged residents of flooded areas to evacuate. Hundreds of houses in the vicinity of Orenburg and several city districts with a population of half a million have already gone underwater. The Mozem Obyaznit Telegram Channel contacted the victims. Everything is only getting worse. The house is sinking, says Yulia Selina, who lives in the village of Veseni, a 30-minute drive from Orenburg. Many are flooded and the leadership is inactive. Everyone is silent. The younger son was pulled out through the window. We were able to get out through the door, Julia continues. My son was very scared. We just made repairs, bought furniture and all that stuff. The situation is aggravated by the clove in the village where meltwater flows and which the authorities did not clean up before the flood, ignoring the requests of residents. Promised payments for recovery will not be enough. No one takes into account the damage to the house, not to mention furniture, repairs, equipment, things. We didn't take anything out. I'm not the only one. People will not be satisfied. So there will be a rally, she promises. Valeria, whose house was flooded in the village of Zarechny, works in the regional administration. On April the 10th, the water approached her house and the yard completely flooded in a few minutes. As a resident of the region, of course, I believe that the payments are too small and do not cover losses. But as a civil servant, I assume that these are only primary payments, she says. Here is what the residents of Orenburg write in local publics and on the page of Governor Pasler. The special water operation is going according to plan. Why are the payments to victims so ridiculous? People have lost everything because of the negligence of officials. People don't have houses, but you give 20,000? Do they have to live on it? Feed the children? Thank you to the Orenburg City Hall for spending the budget on lanterns instead of engineering protection of the city. For the first time, Ukraine destroyed Russian Ka-27 helicopter in Crimea. A Russian Ka-27 helicopter has been shot down in occupied Crimea, Dmitro Pletenchuk, spokesman for Ukraine's Navy, has reported. A Russian Ka-27 down in Crimea. It was looking for something. It has found it, he said. The spokesperson provided no further information, including the type of weapon used to down the helicopter. According to reports from the Crimean Wind Telegram channel, a sound resembling a rocket launch was heard in Sevastopol on April the 10th, followed by a muffled explosion reminiscent of those observed during air defense operations. According to other reports from the helicopter pilot Telegram channel, it could be a friendly fire that brought down the Russian helicopter. The Ka-27 is a Soviet-era naval multifunctional helicopter designed to perform naval anti-submarine defense tasks. It is deployed on ships of various classes. It can detect modern submarines and surface targets, transmit data about them to shipboard and shore stations, and attack them with onboard weapons. Russia's helicopters have been a target of Ukraine's efforts, but Kyiv more frequently reports Russian jet and fixed-wing aircraft losses. Long time, no sea destroyed Russian helicopters. The Ukrainian Defense Ministry said, Ka-27 helicopters stationed at the Kacha Air Base in the Bakhtisarai district of Crimea are used by the Russian Black Sea Fleet to track Ukrainian naval drones and landing craft. Since the start of the large-scale invasion of Ukraine, Russia has reportedly lost 325 rotary wing aircraft in the conflict. However, the destruction of the Ka-27 helicopter was not mentioned during the morning briefing by the chief of the general staff of the Ukrainian armed forces. Although the nature of what brought down the Ka-27 is not known, several sources agree that it was indeed neutralized. However, official confirmation or evidence is still pending, so this is a developing story. Вот такое произошло у нас несчастье. Ребята подорвались у нас в классе, где мы ремонтировали и занимались в ПВ. Один парень очень сильно, второй контузило. Хорошо, всего двое было. Одного успели вытащить, второй сам выбежал. Ну, руки оторвало, к сожалению. Теперь все будем заново. Еще потом два дня детонировало, взрывало здесь. Боеприпасов много у нас здесь лежало. 
в класс заходить сейчас нельзя, потому что лепестки 